Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see if everything's up to date. Everything is up to date on that and... Uh, holy shit! There's a lot. So, okay, this is taking a little while. Longer than usual. Okay, that's a red flag. And let's see how long this is gonna take. Okay, it jumped from 1 to 15, the main story. So it's been totally about 5 minutes. Okay, let's keep it going. After 10 more minutes, we are at 50%. Okay, so after about 30 minutes, we are done with the main story. Now, the left behind is remaining. Let's keep it going. 20 minutes later. I started recording at 3.8, now it's 3.43. 40 minutes for the shader building. I don't know if it's that, if that's worse or better. But yeah, 40 minutes, almost. Okay, now let's get into the video and uh, get this thing started. Okay, let's start with the same area as usual and start going through the list of fixes. All right, we're back here and uh, let's go through the settings. Make sure everything is the same as before. I... And... Uh... DLSS quality, yep, everything is the same as usual. Uh, so yeah, welcome back to another patch overview video for The Last of Us. Yeah, it's been a while, but um, we're here again. I guess they still have to fix a lot of stuff. That's why there's a big list of things fixed. And uh, let's start going through each one of them and see how it is. Oh, and uh, before counting the FPS, I finally figured out how to add the one person laws and minimum and average. So from this point onwards, the one person lows, maximum and average frame rates are gonna be displayed. So there's that. My previous video did, didn't have that. So um, yeah, I'm sorry for that. I finally figured it out how to make it appear on the screen. I had to turn some settings on and off and uh, it's finally here. So optimizations to improve global CPU and GPU performance throughout the game. Getting like 50 FPS. The one person low is like 37. Like 50 FPS over here? I don't know about that. Overall improvements to texture and environment loading. Hmm. Let's see if that's the thing. Let's uh, try. Let's try medium and see how um, how long it takes for it to load the textures. Okay, that was kind of faster. So I think that's better now. Go back to uh, the same one, high. Yeah, that's pretty fast. All right. Brew shader compilation times. Nah, I'm not pretty sure about that because it took me like 40 minutes. It was about the same. Fixed to crash. So the bunch of them are like crash related issues. Fixed to crash that could occur when playing on ultra graphics preset with DLSS enabled. I don't think that was an issue for me. I've never faced this issue, but let's just make sure it's not an issue right now. So DLSS is on quality right now and the settings is set to ultra. We're getting like 32 FPS, 33. Eh, yeah, they didn't crash, so whatever. Going back to high. Fix the crash that would occur in photo mode when saving images in 4K. How did you go to photo mode? Um, I just took a photo, didn't crash it, so I guess it's fixed. It was never an issue for me. Oh, what is that flickering going on in the water? Holy shit, that's crazy. Look at this. What is that? Yo. I don't know what the hell is going on here. I think it's a new bug or... I've never seen this before. Uh, let, let's just keep it going. It's a crash that could occur when using a, using a mouse with high DPI. Okay, my, my mouse is on 800 DPI at the moment. Let me just try increasing it and see how it is. This is the max DPI has, and uh, that's fine. Yo, this water is just, it's going crazy. Anyways, fixed 
a crash that could occur when entering options graphics. Nah. That's good for me. Fix multiple crashes affecting players with Intel GPUs. Uh, mine is an NVIDIA GPU, so let me know in the comments if that's a thing for Intel Arc users. Fix an issue where players could lose the ability to aim or shoot immediately after exiting menus. What? So I'm in a menu right now, right? I can aim and shoot, I guess, so, um, okay. Well, I'll fix the issue where the flashlight tutorial would leave the screen if ignored. Um, I don't know about that. Let me know in the comments if that's still an issue. Fix the issue where exiting photo mode could cause the players to throw an equipped item. It didn't happen to me. Uh, fix the issues where players could see outside the game world in some locations. Is this an outside world? Oh, it's, it's gone now. What? How? Oh. I guess the game just decided to calm itself down automatically. Anyways, the flickering is gone. So, um, and yeah, I have, I haven't seen any outside worlds like out of the map things in the game yet to any glitches, but uh, we might find something. I don't know. I haven't got the time to play this game all the way through. So um, every new update comes out. I just, uh, I just turn the game on just to check it out and then just close it. So I don't know, um, we'll see maybe in the coming areas, but so far I haven't faced any of that things, so I'm good on that. Addressed issues where screen tearing could, uh, could still occur with VSync enabled. I think the VSync is disabled at the moment. I don't have any screen tearing anyway, so uh, it's not a big deal. Fix an audio issue that could occur when using a USB audio device alongside spatial audio plugins. I'm not sure about that because I've never used any USB audio devices except my hard drive. So that's the only USB device. It's not even an audio device. So I don't know about that. Added support for players using third party audio drivers. Okay, that's cool. Fix an issue where changing graphic presets in game will not save. Okay, that's cool. I've never faced this issue. Every single time I say where graphic settings, it, it just works. So um, that's good. Fix an issue where the speedrun timer will roll back after a crash or when quitting to desktop. Speedrun timer, what is that? I have no idea what that is. So let me know in the comments if you guys know what that is. It's like a timer for speedrunning players. I'm not into speedrunning games. So um, yeah, I guess. Fix an issue where scrollable menu descriptions could not be navigated with a mouse scroll wheel. Okay, let me see. I am scrolling to, I mean, with the mouse wheel right now, and it's scrolling perfectly fine. So that's good. Updated the QTE button UI to correctly display when using Xbox controllers. Let me think, was, was there any QTE events? I mean, QTAN went before this area. I don't remember correctly, but I played the game with uh, my keyboard and mouse up to this point because the controller was bugged out in the first few patches. So uh, I am not sure about that. So if you guys know about it, please let me know. Corrected several in-game menu and text-to-speech translation errors. All right, that's cool. GPU performance had more accurately displays, displays usage when launched. CP performance are now more accurate. Okay. So those are more accurate. That's cool. Just turn this off for a while. And uh, go to HUD and turn everything on. I guess everything is on point at the top. That's pretty cool. Let's turn them back off and uh, turn back on the afterburner. Overlay. Correct an issue where the aiming mirror settings did not affect motion sensor aiming. What? Um, I'm not sure guys, like, let me know in the comments what that means and uh, I've never faced or I don't even know what that means, so I'm sorry. Fixed an issue where settings would not reset to defaults if players had any of the menu drop down still open. So they're saying like if I go to graphics and if there's like a drop down menu there are any drop down menus in this one? Oh, I don't know how to even trigger that. Go to graphics and then 
doesn't even let you reset to defaults if the drop down menu is turned on like this. So I don't know what they're talking about. Fixed an issue so that scrolling in photo mode does not affect the in-game camera. I'm scrolling right now and uh, I don't know if that was an issue before because I never had that issue before. So what's next? It's an issue where the game could reset a user's monitor setting when launching the game. Never had that issue before. The game just runs on my primary monitor all the time. Didn't change any settings, so I'm fine on that. Let me know as usual if you guys are having that issue. Fixed an issue where the shader loading could be shown as complete before it actually was. Well, let me tell you this. For me, that was not the case. It would never show anything fancy like that before it actually completes itself. I can say that's pretty accurate. Fixed an issue with Corsair and Logitech device LEDs turning off on startup. I don't think that's an issue because my mouse is Corsair and uh, it was turned on all the time. Or maybe I didn't notice it, but is that a big issue? Like just the LEDs going on and off? I don't care. Display settings are now saved per device and not shared through cloud saves. Okay. Okay, that's cool. In the suburbs, fixed a crash that could occur in a sniper fight. I don't know if I'm in the suburbs or not. I don't think I'm in the suburbs. I mean, I'm in the outskirts. I haven't gotten to the suburbs yet. So let me know if it's still a thing. I had a new very low graphic preset. Oh, that's cool. Let me check it out. Oh, okay. So this is very low. Is there a difference between very low and low? Still uses the same amount of VRAM. Did it change anything or is this the same? Apparently I'm getting more FPS on low compared to very low. I'm getting 100 plus FPS uh, no, on low and on very low. Is it higher or lower? Oh, it's about like two to three FPS higher, I guess. But it's cool though, it's like, it's good for people who want to play. I mean, people with the low end PCs can maybe run this game better now. That's cool. Yeah, but the game looks like shit. So that's the only downside. Let's go back to very, I mean, high. Add a new AI quality settings in the graphics menu. Okay, that's cool. Here it is, AI quality. Okay, that's cool. Dynamic lights quality setting in the graphics menu. So that's another graphics setting. Dynamic lights quality. I don't see that. Oh, it's this one, okay. Okay, I think that's that's all the changes and fixes in the new update so far. Let's keep it going and see if the crash issue is still there, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Wait, right now the FPS is at 75? Okay. By now, I have seen this cutscene at least 50 times already. There was a little bit of texture pop-ins right there, but it's all good. Just skip this and go uh, straight to the game and it didn't have any issues. Perfect. We're getting 50s in this area. Let's keep it going. The minimum is like 2 FPS. Okay. The one person low is 30s, getting 58. It's about the same as the previous patch, nothing much changed. And now it's going 40s. I'm gonna kill this guy over here from here. 50 FPS. Just swap the weapon real quick and keep it going. But yeah, other than these changes, the performance kind of still remains the same. So I don't think they can improve further to actually make the performance even smoother because the game is just, you know, just gonna take that much of the VRAM and all that. So I think they did a pretty good job so far. They improved a lot from the starting point. 
So um, yeah, we just gotta have to sit with this for the rest of The Last of Us Part 1. Did I miss it? Oh, I missed it. Where is that guy? How is he not dying? What? Jesus. Okay, now he's dead. Okay, let's keep this benchmark going till, you know, the usual finishing point. Let me finally get out of this building. They didn't drop any ammo, are you kidding me? Okay. I got the stick. Now this this gun is kind of weak. I need more ammo. Come on. Yo, Ellie, you are sitting in, a, in the worst position possible. Oh my god, this guy came from the back. I had to tackle this guy. Nice. Wait, doesn't have any ammo? Dead? No. Out of ammo again? Are you kidding me? Man, he's dead. There's one more. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to sneak up and then take him down with the stick. He didn't see her. What the? F this guy is blind as fuck. Gonna be a ball, and he's dead. And that's it. The game's been working pretty good so far. So yeah, overall, pretty decent update. They added a bunch more options to the graphics and all that. And I guess fixed a lot of crashes. Apart from that, yeah, nothing new. The performance is almost about the same. 
So I think it's like a good update. So that'll be it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.